welcome to my new video in this video we'll discuss about uh, pros and cons of waterfall model uh, and spiral model and prototype model so this was very demanded topic and my friends asked me to make a video on this so uh, since this is, and I also found that it's not there in the internet so I'm making a video and we will first go to waterfall model waterfall model we know that uh, we can't go backwards in waterfall model the only disadvantage is we can't go backwards but it is the best and easiest method simple and easy to implement and to understand next easy to manage because of its rigidity because it is rigid it is easy to manage each model phase are processed and completed one at a time and phases do not overlap that means when uh, designer works testing people doesn't work so it uh, after one phase only another phase can start so it works in an order it works for small projects the requirements are well understood so this waterfall model works for small projects you will see the cons of waterfall model it assumes that there will be no error no error means we can't go backwards and correct the error and come back in this it assumes that there will be no error committed by the developer during life cycle phrases next it assumes that all requirements are defined correctly at the beginning on the basis of that development starts However, when customer changes its requirement, it is difficult to accommodate. It means you know that customer keeps on demanding. So, in order to accommodate such changes in this uh, software, it is very difficult after because it is waterfall model. It, is, it will not go backwards. So, uh, so it is difficult to accommodate what customer demands after the it reaches a certain trace next is sequential arrangement of phrase is a problem that means uh, one after the other why is it a problem because uh, a testing team you know that a testing team need not wait for the coding team to complete coding it can create its own test suits and can create input and output test suite so it need not wait for the design team to come out and give the code so the testing team can start earlier but what does the waterfall model says no it can't start so that was a problem in waterfall model and in this next we have prototype model in this we have high involvement of the customers means customers unless and until he is satisfied uh, we involve him and after he is satisfied we start a uh, development process that's what happens in, uh, in usual software companies so it reduces time and cost as the defect can be detected earlier and his defects were detected earlier that's why time and cost is reduced next quicker feedback that means if something goes wrong you will get a feedback on the spot from whom from the client or the customer so in this it's good but later on if the customer demands more it will be very difficult to accommodate over here also so cons of prototype model limited functional capabilities that means Functional capabilities are very limited in this and low reliability. We can't rely on this model. Inefficient performance and his performance is also not good. User may get confused in the prototype. That means user is not experienced with the uh, software field and all. So he will get confused. So the customer who is coming for making uh, asking for the software, he will get confused and uh, he doesn't know to take decisions so next spiral model spiral model 
pros of file spiral model it is highly flexible model why because after number of features are infinite in the and we try to develop the software better and better each time next is cost effective why is it cost effective because less people are required in uh, spiral model next works well for complex projects that means what even if the project is complex or tough this thing will help it out next is monitoring is easy and effective monitoring means uh, you are trying to you are, in each cycle you are reviewing the model so obviously monitoring is better over here then all risks are resolved before starting the project that means before you are starting a project itself all risks are resolved so that is a greater advantage and the cons of this is uh, it restricts to only certain projects only that means some projects can't use this parallel model that means it is not universal for developers it is a difficult model to follow since it is risk driven and is complicated for developers they have to consider all the risk and then they have to develop it so it is a hectic task of developers and third one we require knowledgeable staff in the previous models we do not require knowledgeable staff that means uh, uh in, let's say uh, in the waterform model we uh, designer need not know about how to draw dft how to make a structured diagram that means knowledge is divided in other models but in this model knowledge is not divided knowledgeable staffs uh, it is compulsory that a uh, staff should have knowledge on all other topics so that's all for this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you